Hey. Hey. Jennifer Aniston is an American actress, producer, director, and entrepreneur. After gaining fame as Rachel Green in the iconic sitcom Friends, she continues to shine in various comedies and dramas. Watch our new video to learn about the life and career journey of this talented actress. I've ever done, but I'm telling you from this moment on, I swear this is strictly professional. Jennifer Aniston how Rachel from Friends lives and where she spends her millions. Jennifer Joanna Aniston was born on February 11, 1969 in the Sherman Oaks neighborhood of Los Angeles, California to Greek-born actor John Aniston, whose real name is Yanis Anastasakis, and actress with Italian roots Nancy Dow. Jennifer also has an older maternal half-brother, John Mellick, and a younger paternal half-brother, Alex Aniston. Her godfather was the actor Telly Savalas, one of her father's best friends. When Jennifer was just a little girl, her family moved to New York, where John Aniston worked on television projects. At the age of six, she began attending the Waldorf School, where her acting talent soon became evident. When Jennifer was nine, her parents divorced. She stayed with her mother but spent a lot of time with her father on film sets, which is why she decided to devote her life to acting. However, John tried to persuade his daughter to give up this idea, fearing that she would not succeed, and advised her to become a lawyer. Nevertheless, at 11 years old, Jennifer started acting in a school drama club, and later she enrolled in the LaGuardia High School of Music and Art, where she participated in several plays, including Chekhov's Three Sisters. At 12 to 13 years old, the future actress dated musician Adonis Silimparis. He still keeps a Valentine's Day card from his school girlfriend, whom he used to kiss in secret on the stairs during breaks. After her graduation in 1988, Aniston began acting in off-Broadway productions and worked part-time as a telemarketer, waitress, and bike messenger. During that time, she played a minor role in the science fiction film Mac and Me, where she was not even mentioned in the credits. In the early 90s, the young actress appeared in the sitcoms Malloy, Ferris Bueller, and Herman's Head the adventure comedy Camp Cucamonga, and the sketch comedy The Edge. She also appeared in one episode of the science fiction series Quantum Leap. By the way, during the filming of Ferris Bueller in 1990, Aniston met the lead actor Charlie Shatler, with whom she had an intense but brief romance. In the same year, shortly after breaking up with Shatler, the actress began dating Daniel McDonald, with whom she worked on Herman's Head. Later, she referred to him as her first love. Jennifer's feature film debut was the comedy horror film Leprechaun, where she played her first lead role. Surprisingly, after working on the film, Jennifer contemplated quitting acting. The film received negative reviews from critics but was commercially successful and later achieved cult status. I'm going to be miserable here. There's no swimming pool, there's no shopping malls, there's no cable. But you don't even have a TV. Oh, the Shuring Beverly Hills. In 1994, Aniston appeared in the sitcom Muddling Through and also had a role in the crime series Burke's Law. In September of the same year, the sitcom Friends premiered, where Jennifer played the role of Rachel Green. Years later, the series was recognized as one of the best American comedy shows and became one of the most popular and famous projects of the 90s. In 1995, Friends was already nominated for an Emmy Award, and in 1996, Aniston shared the Screen Actors Guild Award with her colleagues for outstanding performance by a cast. In the following years, they were nominated six more times in the same category. Are you serious? No, I've just always wanted to do that. Can you help me clean this up? By the way, Initially, the creators of the series had chosen Courtney Cox for the role of Rachel and Jennifer for the role of Monica. However, the actresses liked the opposite roles so much that they were allowed to switch characters. Throughout the project, all lead actors received the same salary. While they were paid $22,500 for the pilot episode, I just, I just want to be married again. <laughs> and I just want a million dollars. 
The final episodes brought the stars $1 million each. By the way, Aniston agreed to work on the final season of Friends on the condition that its filming would be completed by January 2004. It turned out her way. The two final episodes were shot in January and aired in May of the same year, reaching over 50 million viewers in the USA. Matt LeBlanc, who played Joey, once admitted to having a crush on Jennifer at the beginning of the series, noting that his feelings were shared by the entire world at that time. Also, Aniston and David Schwimmer had feelings for each other, but remained just friends. In 1994, the actress also participated in the filming of the music video for the song I'll Be There For You by the American rock duo The Rembrandts, which became the main theme song for the sitcom. In the same year, Jennifer reportedly dated comedian Jon Stewart, but their relationship ended after a few dates. After that, the actress had a brief romance with the lead singer of Counting Cows, Adam Duritz, and later began dating actor Tate Donovan. Along with starring in the iconic Friends, Jennifer found time to take part in other projects. In 1995, Aniston performed at the Tiffany Theatre in California. In 1996, romantic comedies Dream for an Insomniac and She's the One were released, and for the latter, Jennifer was nominated for a Razzie Award for Worst New Star. Later, the actress appeared in an episode of the sitcom Partners and starred in romantic comedies Till There Was You and Picture Perfect, earning $2 million for her work on the latter movie. Can I call you? No. Is that a real no or a... No, you should consider that a hard no. In 1998, she appeared in the mockumentary The Thin Pink Line and the romantic dramedy The Object of My Affection. Interestingly enough, in 1998, Tate Donovan was invited to play the love interest of Rachel Green in Friends. Coincidentally, their real-life relationship ended around the same time. But my divorce isn't final yet, and, and, and we've been on four dates. So I'm thinking no. In the same year, Aniston began dating Brad Pitt, although managers had introduced the stars to each other back in 1994. In September 1999, the couple appeared together at the Emmy Awards ceremony, and in November, they announced their engagement, showing the ring during Sting's concerts. During that period, Jennifer also appeared in the black comedy Office Space and voiced characters in the science fiction and animated film The Iron Giant and the animated sitcom South Park. Also in 1999, Jennifer's mother Nancy Dow published the book From Mother and Daughter to Friends, a memoir, in which she talked about their complicated relationship with Jennifer. Aniston was offended by her mother's unflattering comments and stopped communicating with her. In fact, in 2005, Jennifer reconciled with her mother. However, it is unknown if they maintained contact thereafter, as after Nancy's death in 2016, it was revealed that she had excluded her daughter from her will. On July 29, 2000, Aniston and Pitt got married in the presence of 200 guests at a private estate in Malibu. The evening featured a live performance by rock singer Melissa Etheridge and a festive fireworks display. By the way, the actress officially changed her name to Jennifer Pitt, but continued to use her maiden name in her professional life. In 2001, Aniston could be seen in the musical dramedy Rockstar depicting the 80s rock scene. Jennifer earned $3 million for this film. You see how many people are there? I know, I know, babe. Just breathe, just breathe, just breathe. You're gonna be great, okay? Nobody knows these songs better than you do. Moreover, in 2000 and 2001, she became a nominee for the Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series for her role in Friends. In 2001, Brad Pitt also made a guest appearance on an episode of Friends dedicated to Thanksgiving, playing a character who hated Rachel. We had a club. You had a club? That's right. The I Hate Rachel Green Club. Oh my god, so what, you all just joined together to hate me? In 2002, the dramedy The Good Girl premiered. The role of an unattractive cashier brought the actress several awards from film critics and local festivals. I'm starting to understand why maniacs go out there and get shotguns and shoot everybody to pieces. Maybe you're a maniac. Maybe so. Aniston was also nominated for a Golden Globe, and she finally won an Emmy Award for her role as Rachel in Friends. 
In 2003, Jennifer starred in the fantasy comedy Bruce Almighty together with Jim Carrey and Morgan Freeman. The film became a box office hit, grossing over $480 million with a budget of $81 million and earned Aniston a record fee of $20 million. Additionally, the actress was nominated for Teen Choice Awards for Best Comedy Actress and an MTV Movie Award for Best Kiss together with Gary. Dick is way home. You can call me Bruce. What happened to you? You seem so... However, the filming process almost ended in tragedy. One day, the wind was so strong that it knocked over a camera crane, which was about to fall on the unsuspecting actress. Fortunately, Jim Carrey noticed the falling crane and immediately pushed his co-star out of its way, saving her life. In the same year, Jennifer's voice could be heard in an episode of the animated sitcom King of the Hill. Later, the actress was nominated for an Emmy twice and won a Golden Globe for playing Rachel in Friends. In 2004, Jennifer played the lead role in the romantic comedy Along Came Polly, which earned her a nomination for an MTV Movie Award for Best Dance Sequence and $5 million. Sure. What are you talking about? What future? Ruben, come on, this is a flame, you know? What did you think we were going to get married? Maybe. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jennifer faced some problems in her personal life. After the end of the 10-year filming of Friends, the actress revealed that she and Brad were ready to have a child. However, the public soon learned that Pitt had an affair with his co-star in the movie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Angelina Jolie. In January 2005, Aniston and Pitt announced their separation after seven years of living together and almost five years of marriage. Their divorce was officially finalized in October. Despite her ex-husband's betrayal, the actress found the strength to forgive him, and over time, they resumed their friendship. I think he's trying to mouth something to me, but I can't make it out. <laughs> In the summer of 2005, Aniston started dating her colleague Vince Vaughn. However, by December 2006, the actors had parted ways, maintaining a friendly relationship. Later, Jennifer warmly recalled their brief romance, saying that Vince brought her back to life during that challenging period. Also in 2005, the actress starred in the dramatic thriller Derailed, earning $9 million, and in the romantic comedy Rumor Has It, for which she received $8 million. In 2006, Aniston appeared in the dramedy Friends with Money and played in the romantic comedy drama The Breakup, for which she received $8 million. Additionally, she won a People's Choice Award for Favorite Actress and a Teen Choice Award for Best Actor Combination, shared with Vince Vaughn. You know, you could have said, you know, I, I'm not, I think I'm going to get Brooke some flowers. You said on our very first date that you don't like flowers, that they're a waste of money. Every girl likes flowers, Gary. In the same year, Jennifer co-directed the short film Room 10 with Robin Wright, playing the lead role. The film received positive reviews from critics and won an award for Best Short Film at the Cinevegas Film Festival. In 2007, Aniston began dating British model Paul Sculfer, but their feelings faded after a few months. In early 2008, at an Oscar celebration party, she met musician John Mayer. They began dating shortly after, but by August, their relationship came to an end as well. In the same year, the dramedy Marley and Me premiered, performing well at the box office and bringing Jennifer $8 million. The film also earned her nominations for the Teen Choice Awards and Kids' Choice Awards. Step one, meet an incredibly sweet, smart, sexy man. Done. Step two, Marry you instead. Oh. No. Additionally, in the same year, the romantic comedy Management was shown at the International Film Festival in Toronto. In February 2009, Jennifer and John Mayer reunited for a brief period and appeared together at the Academy Awards ceremony, where the actress was a presenter. However, the couple soon decided to part ways for good, and there were rumors that Aniston had a short romance with Gerard Butler. In the following year, the romantic dramedy He's Just Not That Into You was released, for which the actress received $9 million. Well, so you don't. So you think it's great that they're getting married, but you don't ever feel like we're going against nature or something. 
by not getting married? Jennifer also starred in the romantic drama Love Happens, earning $8 million. Interestingly enough, during the filming, Aniston never visited Seattle, and her scenes in the city were shot with her body double. Tyler. And some groupie. Again? Yeah. No. No! Oh, crazy. In 2010, the actress could be seen in the romantic comedy The Switch and the action comedy The Bounty Hunter, which performed well at the box office but was critically banned, earning Jennifer her second Razzie nomination. Get out of here. Oh, come on. Hey, come on. Hey, let me buy you a drink. I have a date. Well, I, I didn't say what night. All right, well, then I have a date every night. Every night until the end of time. Okay? So just please stop asking me. Also, she received $8 million for each film. Moreover, Jennifer began dating restaurateur Harry Morton during this period, but this relationship turned out to be a short-lived one too. From 2006 to 2010, Aniston appeared in episodes of the dramatic series Dirt and the sitcoms Cougar Town and 30 Rock. Although she played a minor role in the latter, she was nominated for an Emmy for Outstanding Guest Actor. The actress also participated in Broadway productions of the American Airlines Theater. In 2011, Jennifer starred in the romantic comedy Just Go With It, for which she received $10 million and was nominated for an MTV Movie Award for Best Female Performance. The actress also appeared in the black comedy Horrible Bosses, earning $6 million and an MTV Movie Award. At the director's insistence in Horrible Bosses, Aniston wore a dark wig, which better suited her character of the nasty boss. Unlike most of her colleagues who improvised on set, Jennifer played her role strictly according to the script. <laughs> Listen, can we stop doing this thing here? Why? Because you have a girlfriend. Well, she's not just my girlfriend anymore. We're engaged now. What? In the same year, Aniston directed and produced one of the parts of the comedy drama anthology, Five which focused on the impact of breast cancer on women's lives. In 2012, the actress starred in the travel comedy Wanderlust, earning $8 million and winning a People's Choice Award for Favorite Comedic Actress. I have one more question. Ask anything, my sweet soul, Laurier. Why is that grass crying? It's really loud. I have a feeling that it's my fault. In addition, during the filming of the movie, Jennifer began dating her colleague Justin Thoreau, whom she had met in 2007 thanks to Ben Stiller. In August 2011, the couple started living together, and a year later, they got engaged. Also in 2012, the actress appeared in the documentary about the price of fame, Celebrity, and in two episodes of the comedy web series Burning Love. In 2013, the crime comedy Where the Millers was released which brought Aniston a record-breaking $26 million at that time. And uh, this is my family right here. Hi. This is my son, Kenny, my daughter, Casey, Hi. and this is my wife, Sarah. Nice to meet you. We're the Millers. Pleasure. Thanks Pleasure. for saying hi. For her role in the film, the actress received three MTV Movie Award nominations and won the award for Best Kiss. Interestingly enough, during the shooting of the film, the actors pranked Jennifer by playing the iconic theme song from Friends instead of the song Waterfalls by TLC. This scene later became part of a compilation of bloopers. And action. Woo! How about a little victory music, shall yes, we? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, I love this song! So in the same year, Aniston starred in the crime comedy about bumbling kidnappers, Life of Crime. During the filming of one of the scenes, a colleague accidentally hit Jennifer in the jaw so hard that she lost her balance and fell. All right. Hey, hey, put, put the mask on! I've already, Jesus. I've already seen you. With both of my eyes. At the country club. In 2014, the premiere of the crime comedy Horrible Bosses 2 took place, earning Aniston $10 million. The actress also appeared in the eccentric comedy She's Funny That Way. In September 2014, at the International Film Festival in Toronto, the drama Cake premiered, where Jennifer played a woman struggling with the death of her son and suffering from chronic pain. Notably, the actress refused to use makeup during the filming. 
this deep drama role earned her nominations for the Golden Globe, Screen Actors Guild Award, Critics' Choice Movie Award, and even a nomination for Razzie Redeemer Award. In 2015, Aniston worked as the narrator in a documentary film about the evolution of humanity, Unity. On August 5 of the same year, Jennifer and Justin Thoreau got married at their home in Los Angeles. Wanting to keep the ceremony low-key, the couple deceived friends and family by telling them they were invited to Thoreau's birthday. In 2016, the actress appeared in the romantic dramedy Mother's Day, earning $10 million, and in the comedy Office Christmas Party, for which she received $15 million. By the way, the character of the CEO in the latter was specifically tailored for Aniston, who is known for her bold portrayal of not-so-likable comedy characters. Hi, Santa. Yes, Carol Vanstone. I'm here with Darcy. I know, terrible name. And she's being a little shit here in the first class lounge. Jennifer also voiced a character in the adventure comedy Storks, marking her first time working on an animated film since 1999. In 2017, Aniston appeared in the war drama The Yellowbirds, playing the mother of a fallen soldier, and in 2018, she starred in the dramedy musical Dumplin', earning $10 million. You know you can't enter unless I sign that form. Mom, mm -hmm. if you don't sign that form, you're saying I'm not good enough. In July 2017, Jennifer and Justin appeared together for the last time, attending the Hollywood Walk of Fame star ceremony for Jason Bateman. In February 2018, the couple announced their separation after two and a half years of marriage and seven years of relationship. It's worth noting that once again, the actress maintained a friendly relationship with her former partner. Since then, the star has been enjoying being single, focusing on her own happiness. In one interview in 2023, Jennifer admitted that she has always found it a bit challenging to be in relationships due to her unwillingness to sacrifice her interests for a partner. In the summer of 2019, the comedy detective film Murder Mystery was released, telling the story of a married couple drawn into a crime investigation. The film became one of the most watched movies on Netflix and brought the actress $20 million. Please, we told him to come here. Yes. We've got to stop them. We it's not like canceling a pizza, honey. You tell them to show up, they show up. If he's not the killer, who is the killer? In November 2019, Aniston began working on the drama series The Morning Show, in which she plays the host of a popular news program. The project received positive reviews from critics and was renewed for a fourth season in May 2023. Each episode of the series brings the actress $2 million. Additionally, for her role as Alex Levy, Jennifer received a Screen Actors Guild Award and nominations for an Emmy and Golden Globe Award. Kill our brand. Well, yeah, okay, well that might be the case, but whatever happens to that girl for the rest of her life, that's on me. Okay? I plucked her out of obscurity and I tossed her right into infamy. Ugh. In 2021, Aniston starred in a special of the iconic sitcom Friends The Reunion, where the actors who played the lead roles visited the filming location and shared fun behind-the-scenes stories. How are you feeling to be together, the six of you, right now? It's, it's been so fantastic and exciting, and we've literally just sort of slipped right back, right, as we usually do. In March 2023, Jennifer appeared in the comedy mystery film Murder Mystery 2. Right now, Jennifer is working on the dramedy Mean Moms and the biographical sports drama Hail Mary. However, the premiere dates for the new film featuring the actress are currently unknown. In addition to her work in cinema and television projects, Aniston has been the face of various well-known brands at different periods. For example, in the mid-90s, she became the face of L'Oreal, participated in the Got Milk advertising campaign with Lisa Kudrow, and, along with Matthew Perry, appeared in a Microsoft video guide. In 2005, Jennifer was featured in a Heineken beer commercial, and from 2008 to 2020, she was representing Smartwater, a brand of bottled water. In 2012, the actress participated in the ads for Sky Broadband, an internet service provider, 
and Living Proof, a hair care brand. In 2013, she became the face of the skincare brand Avino, and in 2015, she appeared in an advertisement for the airline Emirates. In 2016, Aniston represented Vital Proteins Collagen and the biopharmaceutical company Shire. Besides, Aniston has her own lineup of perfumes and body mists, and in 2023, she founded the hair care brand Plolavi. For nearly 20 years, the actress has been successfully producing numerous movies. Back in 2001, Jennifer, Brad Pitt, and producers Kristen Hahn and Brad Gray founded the film company Plan B Entertainment. However, after her divorce from Pitt in 2005, Aniston resigned from the company. In 2008, Jennifer and Kristen Hahn became co-founders of the production company Echo Films, which manages both TV and film projects. As of 2023, Aniston's net worth is around $320 million, and her annual income from acting and advertising reaches $20 to $30 million. In 2003, she became the highest paid actress in the world, earning $21 million. Since then, she has been annually featured in lists of the wealthiest and most popular celebrities. Notably, Aniston made about $90 million for all seasons of Friends. Additionally, the main cast members continued to receive substantial royalties from the show's reruns. Obviously, the actress's wealth allows her to own luxurious real estate properties. In 2001, Aniston and Brad Pitt bought a Beverly Hills 11,000-square-foot residence for $13.5 million, which was built in 1934. The main house features four bedrooms with bathrooms, a dining room accommodating up to 20 people, a home theater, a bar, a living room with a fireplace, and a huge pool. The estate also includes a tennis court and a two-story guest house. However, shortly after their separation, the couple put the mansion up for sale. In 2006, Jennifer spent $13.5 million on a new house in Beverly Hills, built in the 70s and in need of extensive reconstruction. The actress devoted three years and several million dollars to renovating the residence. She wanted to recreate the atmosphere of the picturesque island of Bali, and with the efforts of talented designers, the house became a stunning piece of art. It includes several bedrooms and bathrooms, an open kitchen living room, a relaxation room with a fireplace, a terrace, and a heated pool. However, in 2011, the star decided to sell her little paradise for $35 million. Soon after that, Aniston became the owner of a splendid New York apartment, which cost her $9 million. She settled there with Justin Thoreau. The 3,000-square-foot Manhattan apartment with a luxurious view of Gramercy Park immediately won the hearts of the newlywed couples. The star also owns another apartment in New York. The West Village penthouse cost her $5.9 million. Interestingly enough, in her youth, Aniston also lived in the West Village in the historic five-story house of her colleague and best friend, Andrea Bendewald. In 2021, the townhouse was listed for sale for $11 million. In 2012, Jennifer bought a mid-century Art Nouveau mansion in the prestigious Bel Air area of Los Angeles for $20.1 million. The open-plan house, covering about 8,600 square feet, has four bedrooms and six bathrooms, as well as an office, kitchen, and terrace. The huge windows offer a beautiful view of the city. By the way, soon after buying the mansion, Aniston confessed that if she hadn't become an actress, she would likely have pursued a career in interior design because decorating her home had fascinated her. In 2022, Aniston bought a farmhouse in Montecito for $15 million, previously owned by Oprah Winfrey. The Tuscan style house covers 4,300 square feet and provides a magnificent view. The farmhouse sits on an acre of land. The surrounding territory is adorned with numerous fruit trees and has a special guest house. During the filming of Friends, Aniston was renting an apartment which was put up for sale in 2023 for $2.6 million. Additionally, Jennifer can boast an impressive collection of elite cars, including Bentley Continental GT, Range Rover SV Autobiography, Cadillac Escalade SUV, Audi A8, Toyota Prius Hybrid, Mercedes S-Class, Ferrari 458, and a Mini Cooper S. The total value of her fleet exceeds $1.5 million. The actress is also involved in charitable activities, donating substantial sums to various foundations and organizations. For example, she contributed $500,000 to aid the people of Haiti and support the campaign against domestic violence. 
She also allocated $1 million to the Red Cross and the Ricky Martin Foundation to help those affected by hurricanes in 2017. On March 8, 2022, Jennifer expressed respect and support for Ukrainian women on her Instagram page, urging her followers to join in helping the people of Ukraine. Also, the actress revealed that she suffers from dyslexia, which caused difficulties in her studies and made her consider herself stupid. Moreover, she used to be a target of bullying in school. As a child, Jennifer almost drowned in a pool once, so she's been having a strong fear of immersion in water ever since. She's also afraid of flying. Although the star believes in God, she doesn't adhere to any specific religion. However, Aniston is passionate about yoga and meditation and expressed her desire to meet the Dalai Lama, whom she finds incredibly joyful and enlightened. In one interview, the star shared about her long and unsuccessful attempts to have a baby and the intense media scrutiny on this matter. Nevertheless, she admitted that she currently has no regrets about not having children. Despite being half Greek, Aniston does not enjoy Greek cuisine but loves Mexican food. She is indifferent to sweets and prefers salty treats. Recognized as the hottest woman of all time by Men's Health magazine, Aniston is also featured in the 50 Most Beautiful People list by People magazine. In 2012, she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Her filmography is filled with numerous hits and, by the way, she was considered for the role of Rose in the disaster film Titanic, which eventually went to Kate Winslet. Which role of Jennifer Aniston do you like the most? Well, that was, um, okay. It wasn't the best. That was one of the worst things ever. <laughs> If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.